It's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. My dog Dugan will be joining me for this video because I will be talking about how pets are beneficial for people with Asperger's or autism in general. If you have Asperger's and or you're an animal lover, you'll love this video. I will be discussing how pets are good for people on the autism spectrum. As you may not know, I have Asperger's myself, and Dugan has really helped me cope with it throughout the years. I have no idea where I'd be right now if it weren't for Dugan. Let's get into the video. I think pets are good for people with Asperger's because your pet keeps you company. Usually, people with Asperger's struggle to make friends because not only do they lack social skills, but they have tendencies that people usually judge. So people with Asperger's don't really have any friends. I think that pets make really good friends for people with Asperger's because pets don't judge. And some pets are really friendly. People with Asperger's go through issues that only they understand. So they can't really relate to other people. However, your pet will love you and care for you no matter what. Your pet will accept you for who you are. They will not care what you look like, act like, or anything like that. They just want to be your friend. Pets make great friends for anyone, even people with Asperger's. Dugan is actually really friendly. So friendly that he'll go up and say hello to anyone even if they have Asperger's. Pets can be some of the most loving living things on the planet. If you have Asperger's and have trouble making friends because of it, I'd recommend getting a pet, whether it be a dog, a cat, or any other type of pet. Your pet will also be your best friend. They call dogs man's best friend for a reason. If you have a child with Asperger's or autism who has trouble making friends, why not get them a pet? Most children see their pet as a beloved friend and playmate. I actually grew up with Dugan. I was only three when we got him. When I was little and Dugan was young, I always played with him and he was pretty much my best and only friend at the time. Dugan is still my best friend today. Your pet is basically a lifelong friend. Not only do people with Asperger's have trouble making friends, but they often get looked down on. For example, because I have Asperger's, people usually look down on me, using a baby voice when talking to me and everything. It makes me feel inferior, like everyone's bigger than me. However, Dugan and my other dog, Lily, always look up to me which makes me feel a lot better about myself. Basically, pets can act as a confidence booster for people with Asperger's. There is also this thing called pet therapy. Pet therapy is when they train an animal, such as a dog or cat, to be a therapeutic source for people with Asperger's or autism in general. When someone on the autism spectrum is having a bad day, their therapy dog or therapy cat can always be there to help them feel better. For example, Dugan has never been a certified therapy dog, but I usually go and hug him whenever I'm sad or having a meltdown or something like that, and it makes me feel a lot better. I have actually met a couple of certified therapy dogs throughout my life, and they've really helped me. Also, as therapy dogs are service dogs, you can take them to public places with you. Because people with Asperger's usually don't really have any friends, they never get the experience of going out with a friend. If you have a therapy dog who you consider to be your friend, you can take them to the mall and other places with you. 
which you'll feel like you're going out with a friend. I'm done talking about the benefits of pets for people on the autism spectrum. So now I will be suggesting the best pets that you can get for either pet therapy or autism in general. To be honest, I think that dogs are the best pets for people with Asperger's. Good dog breeds for this type of thing would probably be any type of retriever, whether it would be a golden retriever, a Labrador retriever, or any type of retriever. Retrievers probably have the absolute best temperament out of all dogs, so I mainly recommend them. Dugan here is a Labrador retriever, and he has a really good temperament. He never bites or anything. If you can't handle a big dog, get a small dog that has a good temperament. I do not recommend getting a dog that will growl or bite or anything like that. If you are allergic to dogs or can't handle a dog, try getting a cat. Most cats actually prefer to be independent and prefer not to be around humans. So I would recommend getting a cat who is really affectionate and friendly and actually likes people. I have like my grandma's cat from my Thanksgiving vlog. My grandma's cat has also helped me so much. If you can't handle a dog or a cat, you could try getting a different kind of small animal, but avoid the ones with thorns sticking out of them. That means no hedgehogs or porcupines. I also do not recommend birds because Birds have beaks and can easily peck you, so it's not a good idea. I would recommend sticking to either getting a dog with a good temperament or a cat who's really affectionate and friendly and likes people. That's it for this video. I hope this video helped you. If you like this video, please subscribe for more videos on my channel. I post a new video every Friday. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Also, feel free to comment down below if you have any form of autism and how your pet has helped you or how your pet has helped your child with autism. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.